Hey everybody, Brad York here at the Arizona Broadway Theater for the unveiling of 1930s Broadway, A Portrait, ABT's 84 foot long new lobby mural. It's gonna be an exciting night. Here's what's in store for the evening. <laughs> Part of the building was never quite complete uh, until tonight. And one element of that was, of course, the, um, the talents of my mother, Penelope, right up here. Yay. And you'll see, obviously, that's, that's why we're here tonight. Uh, it was, I don't know, eight years ago. Before the building was done, uh, we had a, an initial conversation about uh, what we might want to do as we decor and, and design this space and have everyone's input involved in this and quickly realize that we had to have something big and dramatic here in our lobby and now after eight years of having a beige wall which in itself is very big and dramatic um, I know in the state of Arizona because there's nothing beige anywhere in this state <laughs> finally um, tonight we're able to, to realize this uh, amazing contribution to our facility um, first, I want to thank all of you for coming out tonight. Um, it is because of the support of this amazing community that we continue to do what we do. And for all of those who, who are here tonight, um, you're not a stranger to us. And your commitment, either a member of the board, a donor, um, a family member, uh, friends, uh, thank you all for coming out tonight and sharing in this wonderful moment uh, for all of us who have been so connected to the theater. Um, thank you to all of you who came out and supported this, um, especially all of those who uh, gave specifically for the mural. Uh, we have uh, a reproduction, well, not a reproduction, a sample of what our plaque will be looking like uh, once we complete it and have it uh, cut and placed here in the lobby. It'll be a permanent recognition for all of those of you who have made uh, the commitment to making this mural become a reality as well as all of our annual givers, uh, many of you who are here tonight, who continued your support in our annual contribution for the theater programs and gave uh, generously this year to help make sure that this mural could become a reality. So this is just a sample of what it will be, and hopefully we'll have it uh, done once we get it all cast in bronze and all that magic that you have to do when you put these things on walls. So, uh, th but this is it. Um, and the last thing is I would like to ask everyone to lift your glass. And I would like to do a toast to all of you and to the Arizona Broadway Theater as being this cultural um, mecca, the heart of a community that we've tried so hard to create in the performing arts field. And now we think that we've tackled something in the visual arts element, thanks to my mother. So thank you all very much. Here, here. At this point, I would like to welcome up to the stage my mother, Penelope Klobuchar. complexity. There's 100 people on the mural. 50 males and 50 females. <laughs> in addition to nine New York skyscrapers that were there in the 30s, in addition to 
38 theaters on 42nd Street, 43rd Street, 44th Street, 45th Street, and Broadway. Well, this evening has arrived, and we're about to unveil an art piece that will add to the uniqueness of the Arizona Broadway Theater here in Peoria. And hopefully, no matter how many times a person views it, he or she will always discover something new. Some of you have already seen a smaller version of the mural, so you kind of know what to expect. But I could tell you after watching Getting It Home this week, it is really big. <laughs> <laughs> it is seven times the size of the original piece that I painted, which was two feet high by 14 feet wide. This is 14 feet high by 84 feet long, wide. But before we drop the drape, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the Mural Project donors who helped make this, a possible, make this possible. I personally am so grateful for their great generosity, some of whom are here tonight. And one last person I want to recognize, if it weren't for his great personal friendship and willingness to invest in our dream at the beginning of this enterprise of creating exciting theater here in the West Valley, we certainly wouldn't be here tonight celebrating this event. And he is here tonight. And I am so proud to recognize our longtime friend who incidentally went to high school in a small Minnesota town with my husband, Ron. <laughs> some of my staff to support with some of the lights. We're gonna bring and if we can get a little drum roll. And if we can get a little trumpet. think of the mural. The mural is absolutely fabulous. If you are into uh, the theater, it the, gives you a real history of the theater in, in New York when all those theaters were in existence and some of those theaters are still in existence. Plus the uh, people that really made uh, theater history. So I think it's just a great addition, especially for Peoria. Oh, the mural is just fabulous. You know, it's like old-fashioned New York glamour right here in Arizona. We don't have the opportunity to see this very often, but no, it's very, very nice. It's a wonderful evening. I was happy to be part of it. Yes, the amount of research that went into it was absolutely stunning to, to have the detail about why they're in there, what they're doing in there, what they're wearing in there. <laughs> absolutely outstanding. I don't know how she did it, but it's gorgeous. <laughs> I think it's absolutely stunning. It gives the whole theater a feeling of Broadway. And it, there are so many characters up there that I don't know. They speak of Broadway. They take you back to the days when Broadway was buzzing and had all the great composers and everything going. So they're all up there on the wall. It's a pleasant experience to see it, and it's breathtaking to look at. 
It's spectacular. I mean, we knew what we was coming to see. I'd seen the small version, the small as in this big, but this was, I mean, it's incredible. And you know, we're going to be here the next year going, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? It's fantastic. Hey, everybody. My name is Brad York. I'm the sales and marketing director here at the Arizona Broadway Theater. You know, tonight was an extraordinarily exciting night for all of us who take part in creating art here at ABT. Uh, we are so used to putting on shows on the stage, but tonight an extremely exciting event happened here in our lobby with the unveiling of the new lobby mural, 1930s Broadway, a portrait. Now, this portrait took almost a decade from conception to sketching to painting to its installation this week. And I'm here with the lobby muralist, co-founder and mother of the executive producer, Kyle Klopaki, Penny Klopaki. Penny, how are you doing tonight? I'm feeling great. Are you a little bit over the moon? I am. Well, tell me a little bit about um, the last, not just the last 10 years, but maybe the last two days. You've watched this installation. <laughs> You've uh, had the opportunity to have some um, things change. We had to, you know, cut some corners here and there. How was tonight for you when that white drape came down? Incredible. Everything turned out beautifully. Uh, I'm just amazed at the color and the rendition, the perspective. It, it looks so different big like this really because is. the original was two feet high by 14 feet long and it was one seventh this size which is, this is 14 feet high by 84 feet wide. Now a lot of us have seen the smaller versions in fact we've got uh, one of the uh, portraits uh, behind you that we've had uh, reproduced. It really does make a huge difference to see this on an 84 foot wall. Tell us a little bit, uh, working a little bit from your right to left about this mural and uh, some of the characters that are in it. Well, I have little stories that I, I've told. Uh, for example, on the far left, um, I have Kyle, who's the executive producer, and my husband, Ron Klopaki, in that yellow car there. And we had just finished Anything Goes, which was a big part of our beginning here and Cole Porter's on the left with his wife and we have just other little stories that I've made uh, up there we've got the Gershwins in the lower part there we've got uh, George who's got his hand on his head because he's about ready to croak <laughs> when he was about 37 because he had a brain tumor but he left an incredible work behind. And his brother Ira is standing behind him. And then to the right, we have Hammerstein holding a little baby who's actually Stephen Sondheim. Oh. Because as they grew up, as he grew up, he actually went to work for Hammerstein. And then we have Richard Rogers behind him and Lorenz Hart. And next to them, we have um, Mae West. And Fanny Bryce is there on the right at Ziegfeld's funeral, having a fight with one of the entertainers of the uh, Ziegfeld Follies. Tell me about um, now that this is up, and uh, we like we put on, we put on eight musicals here at ABT each year, and we, so there's big things happening on stage. What are your hopes? for our patrons coming into the lobby and seeing this. I mean, you're the, it's a different kind of art and what you're wanting to um, elicit from people. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, well, f initially we chose this period of time because it was a, a very exciting time. The 30s, big transition. Um, the theater is an Art Deco inspired building and and so we decided we were going to settle on that particular part of history. Well, this is really the crowning jewel, everybody. You know, in 2001, this uh, theater was an idea on a bar napkin. <laughs> Here we are. In 2005, we opened in a tent on the grounds of the Peoria Sports Complex. We are now headed into the second show of our eighth season, and we're talking about what season 10 is going to look like. With all the carpet done, the paints on the wall, the shows have been, we have 55 shows that have been on the main stage. Here you are tonight with a crowning jewel, a gem of a mural, 1930s Broadway, a portrait. We invite all of you, whether you're seeing a show or not, to drop on by, have a look, see what it's all about. If you want to grab a drink, 
see a show, box office is open. We'd love to see you. This is a great, great piece of art and a great, great piece of culture for not just Phoenix, but for our West Valley. So thank you all very much. Penny, thank you so much. And we'll see you all soon. <laughs> <laughs>